Hey everyone, uh, welcome to 2023. Uh, I thought of a bunch of different ways I was going to try and change 2023 for the company uh, for practical performance overall and uh, maybe analyze some gaps where we, we weren't uh, fulfilling what I wanted to happen. Uh, so I thought one of the best ways to to kind of connect with you guys and get more of a connection between us is uh, to kind of revamp, you know, the YouTube channel, like I've been talking about for three, four, five, whenever years. Uh, so here we are. And I thought the best way to kind of do that is just talk about some things to come in 2023. So when you guys see me looking over to this side, it's because I've got my whole list of, of things I'm, I want to address in this video. So, uh, let's just get right into it. Things to come in 2023. Uh, the first thing obviously is going to be the YouTube channel, right? I'm trying to revamp the YouTube channel and, uh, do more with it than just, uh, random match videos of, you know, any, any match I shot last week or, or, you know, little, little videos about machining and stuff like that. So we're going to start trying to put out, or I'm going to start trying to put out about a video a week. Um, the length of those videos is going to vary from something like this, which again, I have no idea how long this one's going to take, uh, to maybe some shorter videos, uh, just about some things you should be looking for with your, your setups, your guns, your shooting, uh, for gunsmiths that follow this channel, maybe your gunsmithing, uh, things of that nature that we're going to address in the coming year. So you should be looking at that. Uh, like I said, I'm going to try and get something out once a week. And, uh, because of my schedule, that may be just me, or it may be including other people because they will be around when I make the videos. So, uh, that's the first part of the YouTube thing. Uh, there's some other stuff that you guys are going to see, uh, that I'm super excited for. Uh, I don't want to give away too much on them because it doesn't involve just me. Uh, but I will tell you, uh, there's going to be some awesome stuff coming from, uh, my buddy Jeff, who runs LAS Concealment, and myself, and perhaps some others uh, that I'm super looking forward to, and keep an eye out for that stuff, guys. It's going to be super cool. I'm really excited about it, uh, especially to do something with, you know, my main sponsor, which is LAS Concealment. So uh, look for that as well. The next thing that you guys uh, constantly write in about, and I understand why, uh, the Practicast is coming back. I promise this year it is coming back. I've already talked to Seth about it. We're going to get that back up and running. Uh, there's some stuff I'll talk about later on in this video that are going to facilitate that happening to, to get that Practicast back out there. Uh, we love doing it, and uh, the response from you guys about it has always been great. So it's something we definitely want to bring back and, and get back into doing. Uh, there's other people involved with that as well, which uh, I'm excited about. And you guys will see that coming up here this year as well. Uh, hopefully sooner rather than later when that drops. So... Uh, so yes, the podcast is coming back, the Practicast is coming back, and you should look for new episodes there as well. Uh, the other thing I get a lot of emails and questions about is the Walther PDP Q-Series guide rods, uh, captured guide rod system that I developed with Scott Jedlinski. The design is set. Uh, initially, I was making those by myself on that lathe, um, and it took a long time. So we got a, a machine shop that's uh, turning them out for us. Uh, and they are amazing. Amazing. Uh, I couldn't be happier with the work that they did with that. Initially, we were going to have these uh, distributed uh, through, through another company. And you were going to be able to click and buy and do all that stuff uh, through their company. Uh, that unfortunately has fallen through. 
Um, so the route we've decided to take, or I've decided to take, is I will make those available to you uh, shortly here on my website. The uh, guide rod systems here, you guys can see this one, right? It is a captured system. Uh, I didn't put a screw in this one, but it'll have a, a screw with it um, to lock it into a captured system. Uh, it will also come with two recoil springs. Uh, again, we had someone else sourcing those, uh, but we will be doing that in house. Um, and it will be packaged with both a 13 pound recoil spring and a 15 pound recoil spring. Uh, the reason that is going to occur is dependent on what you've done to your your gun or your PDP or your Q5 or Q4 uh, at that point. Uh, specifically, you know, the, the uh, reduced striker springs and trigger return springs. Um, those you can get away with a little bit more like a 13 pound recoil spring uh, in them with zero reliability issues. Uh, if you don't have those in, you're probably not gonna get away with the 13 pound. So we've included the 15 pound for you. Uh, so right away, the nice thing about it too is you put the 13 in, you don't like how it runs, you can put the 15 in, and it's still a reduction in recoil spring. So you will get better performance out of that system and kind of tame it down just a little bit. So look for that on the website uh, coming in the near future once we've got uh, everything ready and we can start shipping those, you will see those pop up on the website. Uh, we have approximately right now, I have about 200 of them ready to go. Uh, so just keep keep your eyes open. I They're probably going to go pretty quick. So, uh, so look for that. Next thing we need to talk about is classes. So this year, um, I was really lucky. I taught close to 46, 46, so somewhere in that ballpark, 45, 46 classes in 2022, which was amazing. Uh, it was a great blessing. And uh, I was very happy to get out there and be able to teach uh, those classes or assist with those classes. Uh, so, uh, however, one of the things that has suffered because of that is uh, literally everything else. So in 2023, you guys are going to see a significant cutback in the amount of classes I, I am going to be at or I am going to be teaching. Um, some of those you guys can see on my, on my website under the register for classes uh, tab. Uh, there's... Uh, I forget how many classes available on there. Uh, those are my solo classes, which you can sign up for. Uh, I think all but one of them still has slots available for it right now. And granted, some of them are very far out October of, of the, you know, uh, October, November timeframe. So there's time to get into some of those. Some of them are coming up pretty quick, um, especially, you know, my law enforcement classes, uh, in California and some of the other classes that are coming up in uh, February, March timeframe. Along with those, uh, I am still going to be teaching the, the joint classes with Tim Heron of Tim Heron Shooting. So you can find those classes on practice score under the events tab. I'm currently working on trying to get them to link to my website as well. Uh, I am not a tech wizard, so that has been uh, so far unsuccessful, but we are going to figure that out so you can just click on uh, the tab for that and get sent right to the registration for those classes. Uh, I will still be assisting uh, Scott Jedlinski at Modern Samurai Project in some of his classes. I won't be as at nearly as many as I was the last two years, uh, but I will still be at several of them, so you can find me in those classes as well. Uh, primarily, though, you're going to see me doing uh, 
both my performance handgun as well as my 1911 driver class. And uh, remember guys, 2011s are 1911s. They're just double stacked 1911s. So uh, uh, again, the, the naming of this class has been an issue since day one uh, with people misunderstanding what this class is. And that's part of the reason the class exists to begin with is the misunderstandings on the platform itself. So if you have a 2011, you can sign up for the 1911 driver class. Uh, it is 1000% applicable. It is designed around your system as well. More on that uh, in a couple of my next points. So uh, all in all, I will probably only be teaching somewhere around 25 total classes uh, in 2023. So right now, uh, I think I've got 14 on 14 or 18 on the schedule. And uh, so if you are hosting a class in 2023, I've got a few slots left uh, if you wanna jump on that, but do it today uh, because we are filling up. So uh, why am I cutting back on classes? You know, like we talked about, everything else has gone to the wayside uh, because of my class schedule uh, or other people's class schedule that I, I've been helping with. So uh, one of the big things that suffered and uh, it, it blatantly obvious to myself was my shooting, right? Um, I get it that there are guys out there that can just dry fire away and they never need to live fire practice. And that's super cool. You're very lucky uh, and very blessed to be able to do that. I ain't that guy. I need to shoot. Um, if I want to get better, I need to shoot. And that's what I preach in my classes. Uh, and unfortunately, you, you know, I always thought it was uh, ridiculous when instructors said, if you know, you want to stop getting better at shooting, start teaching and it proved absolutely correct over and over again. So I will be, uh, one of the reasons I'm cutting back on classes is because I want to shoot and get better at shooting, you know? Uh, the other part of that is, you know, I shot uh, one major match last year and a total of, I believe, three matches in 2022. Uh, one was nationals, which was, I think, my second match of the year. Uh, and the other two were local matches. Um, and that's not good. <laughs> that's not good for someone that uh, ideally someday wants to be a grandmaster. And that's not a good way to accomplish the task of becoming a grandmaster. Um, some people don't put a lot of weight in that. And that's fine, that's on them. Uh, I do put a lot of weight in that uh, because I've been lucky enough to be around real grandmasters uh, that, you know, are, are ranked very highly in the country, uh, you know, and I, I, that's something I wanna do. So one of the things that has to go is I, I need more time to be able to pursue that, that goal. So that's one of the other things. Uh, the, the other one um, I'll talk about here in a second, but uh, one of the super cool things now, especially in 2023, is this provisional division called Limited Optics. And uh, because of that, you guys will probably see a lot less single stack stuff from me this year. Um, this has given me, you know, something where I can finally run a gun that I carry in a division without, you know, uh, I'm sorry, not without, but while being competitive in the actual division. Shooting a single stack with a, a red dot on it in open division is not exactly what I would call advantageous or competitive, especially shooting a minor caliber. So uh, with everything going on this year, I've decided, uh, especially since I won't be able to shoot nationals this year, I will kind of dive into this provisional division known as limited optics. And to do that, I will use these guys. Yes, with the lights on. 
right? So these guns, I've, I, I absolutely have carried this gun. This is an old uh, STI Eagle, one of the first guns I rebuilt and uh, it served me really well. And I look forward to shooting it uh, as, I don't know if it'll be my primary this year, but it will definitely be a gun I will be shooting this year. The other one that you can see here is a Prodigy, right? And uh, this one is not a stock Prodigy. I know that's another thing that just didn't get done this year was releasing our Prodigy uh, review video. I'm looking to do that in 2023. I promise you it's coming, um, but this one has been extensively worked over uh, trigger job. Externally, it looks exactly the same, right? Um, but internally, there's definitely been some work done to this gun. So you will see this gun uh, getting used a lot, especially in my classes, so I can form a, a solid, solid opinion on the Prodigy. Uh, not to give anything away, but so far, not so good. So, um, so I'm excited about limited optics, but again, matches are a, a big reason I, I'm stepping back a little bit from teaching as much as I was before. Uh, the big thing about taking a, a step back a little bit is custom guns. Uh, my real job is a gunsmith. And I build custom guns like this, right? Um, and because of my teaching schedule over the last couple of years, my time in the shop has been extremely, extremely limited. Uh, at the last count, which is funny because I just got two orders in the last couple of days, uh, I was at 42 custom guns. Uh, waiting to be built. And for me, if you figure based on, uh, you know, the schedule, that's at least two years of work for me to get those guns done. So uh, because of my training schedule the last couple of years, those guns haven't uh, been getting built at the rate that I want them to be built at. And I'll tell you what, some some of you guys have been just the most patient patient uh customers uh and some of you have not <laughs> so uh to to you guys thank you uh for that and thank you for understanding um it takes a long time to build a custom gun it it's not <laughs> you know it's not the same as a factory rack grade gun uh it takes time and i would much rather it be right than right now um, but that's me. Some of you don't feel that way and that's okay. Um, I'm probably not the gunsmith for you. So, uh, but in, in an effort to get these guns out there, these 42 plus guns, uh, I need more time in the shop. I need to actually be in the shop, uh, in order to get those guns done. Um, one of the big changes for 2023 is, we are not doing rebuilds anymore. Um, the The state of the industry with their uh, manufacturing practices ha just continues to astound me that guns leave their shop. Uh, and because of that, that causes a lot of heartache on my side. Um, as an example, I've got a gun right now, uh, that should have been an easy, easy, um, easy 80 hour rebuild, uh, on a, on a, what we thought a fairly well built, um, factory gun. That gun is now 160 plus hours into work, none of which I will see the extra dime for, um, and now because of it, it has set everyone else back as well as to when they'll get their guns. Uh, so uh, those are the things that I, I I need to avoid. They are they are a time suck 
and they don't help anyone out. And frankly, they're, they're upsetting to both you and me uh, because it pushes everyone back. So uh, we will not be doing rebuilds anymore. Um, if you are on the list with a rebuild, I will honor that, of course, uh, because I did agree to it. But in the future, for future work going on the books, there will be no more rebuilds uh, happening. Um, or, or I should say, those are those are will be a very, very, very rare occasion, and uh, they will be incredibly expensive, and they will probably be billed by the hour, not the job. So um, you can anticipate no more, <laughs> no more rebuilds. So. Um, so that's one, one of the big changes on the custom guns. I still want to put out our, our guns that we were going to basically do models. Uh, I had hoped to be at that point at the beginning of this year. Uh, we are not there yet, obviously with the, the other guns that we have in the shop. So, uh, perhaps by the beginning of next year, those models will be rolling out. One of the big ones, obviously, will be the gun, uh, basically a clone of the gun I did uh, for Modern Samurai Project. So uh, if you guys want to see that gun, go ahead, take a look at my Instagram or his Instagram. Um, it's a 2011 Commander uh, that, that I did for him. Uh, and uh, obviously, it has a red dot on it. So um, that gun will be available as a package with no changes, um, which is a, an easy way for me to keep the price down a little bit for you guys. Uh, so that and some other uh, packages I'm going to put together for you guys will be, I hope, will be available this year. That gun you can actually get on the list for right now, um, but again, it, they aren't ready to go. It's still quite a long wait for them. So that's kind of the state of the company right now. Uh, I'm very excited about some of the things uh, coming up, you know, especially uh, some of the classes we're going to be teaching. Um, one of the big ones, obviously, is going to be the Quest down in Georgia in October. Uh, that uh, I'm super excited to be headlining that. That's going to be a great time. Um, with that, I, I need to say some thank yous. Um, because gratitude is important, despite what certain people think. And one, one of the people out there, I think that does the best job of, of letting us know that is my friends, uh, is my friend, Brian Hill. And, uh, I would be remiss if I did not thank both him and sh his wife, Shelly Hill for all the stuff they have done, uh, for me, uh, especially in the last, you know, the last couple of years, um, uh, I, I am so grateful for them. Uh, number one, you know, uh, allowing me to teach at something like the quest, uh, as well as help out with something like the quest. Um, Brian is one of the few, uh, instructor friends I have that has actually been to my class, uh, or one of my classes. And, uh, that means the world to me. And I've been to his class uh, as well, his deliberate coaching class. Uh, I don't want to spoil anything, but um, it, it was absolutely my favorite class of 2022, uh, hands down. It was also the first class I took in 2022, and it was just fantastic. I can't uh, recommend it enough. Um, and having known those two for for several years now, I am just so grateful for their friendship, uh, as well as our relationship uh, as instructors. So uh, thank you, Brian and Shelly. I, I, I appreciate you both so very much. Um, the other is my buddy, Tim Heron. Uh, you know, Tim and I teach a class together. Uh, <laughs> this year, we're going to teach several classes together. Um, and, uh, you know, I'm so grateful to have a friend like Tim. Tim has changed my shooting and my practice. And, you know, if there's one person who would be my shooting accountability buddy, uh, it is Tim Heron. Um, <laughs> at the time I'm filming this, it's, I laugh because he literally sent me a picture yesterday 
of his target that he shot uh, a drill we've been uh, kind of working on uh, since we took a class together earlier this year. And uh, I <laughs> I laughed because it was 32 degrees uh, and he was out practicing and I was not. So uh, I sent him a picture of my target, which was literally just blank. And um, so thank you to Tim, uh, who I, I could not ask for a better, uh, you know, uh, accountability buddy, uh, and someone who keeps me honest with my training and, and, you know, one of the best things of him being, <laughs> you know, a world-class shooter is there's, <laughs> it's, it's hard to argue with, with, uh, certain things when it comes to success, when you have someone right there who, who is a success like Tim, his friendship and his, uh, uh, expertise is like none other. I, I, I can't say thank you enough to, to Tim. Um, I would be absolutely wrong if I, if I didn't say thank you to, uh, to my brother, Scott Jedlinski, who has done, uh, so much for me, uh, you know, in 2018, I would have never thought this is where we would be at. Uh, with him and I sitting on my deck, uh, solving all the world's shooting problems, and then, of course, forgetting them the next morning. Uh, <laughs> but uh, I, I don't know what I what I would be doing if it weren't for for Scott and, and Bev, who have have truly just took a chance on letting me uh, help him out uh, when other people wouldn't let me help them out. Uh, and really letting me teach and 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 carry their flag uh, when necessary. So I I will forever be grateful to them uh, for what they've done for me and continue to do for me. Uh, the, I don't have enough thanks to to give to them. Um, the last individual I absolutely need to thank is my wife Alexis. Uh, who is a <laughs> saint beyond beyond saints um when you know we got married we knew i i was going into gunsmithing but we had no idea where we would be uh today and the last couple years have really been a a uh a roller coaster of of things going on uh whether it be uh in the shop or setting up the shop or um, on the road as much as I was the last two years and uh, no no complaints from her uh, you know she really she really let me do the things that uh, we thought I needed to do and I will be eternally grateful to her forever and ever and ever um, and you know she is she is my partner and and she <laughs> puts me in my place when I need it and, and encourages me more than more than anyone else so uh to her uh I can only say thank you and I love you and and I I will always be thankful for you um finally uh thank you to everyone else thank you to all my customers thank you to you guys watching this I know this video is a little long and if you made it this far uh I I appreciate you sticking with it and and seeing where we're at with 2023. I could not do this without the support of all of you as well. And uh, to to the patient customers waiting on their guns, thank you for your patience. And I, I appreciate you uh, sticking with it and allowing me to, to build your systems uh, and to my students to teach you uh, the information that I have acquired over the years. Uh, it is a, a sacred, sacred uh, trust you have in place in me. And that is truly how I, I believe, whether it's building or teaching. And I don't want to fail you uh, uh, because that is such a, a sacred, sacred trust. So thank you for placing your trust in me. And I hope you continue to do so in, in the future. So guys, that's everything I've got for 2023. Um, 
stay tuned for more videos. Uh, check out the Practicast. Look for the, the guide rods. Uh, go to a class. Sign up for a class. Host a class. Uh, order a gun. Uh, remember, there's a long waiting list right now. Uh, so for all of that, guys, uh, thank you. And thank you for tuning in. And there's more where this came from. And I look forward to uh, talking more with you guys. Uh, for that, uh, I'm AJ Zito with Practical Performance. And we will see you next time.